welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to this week's video, which is my Zara haul part two. So if you happen to miss part one, I'm going to link it in the description box or pop it up here. This is basically the second part for the items that hadn't arrived in time. So I just thought we'd continue on uh, this week. So this is part two. A couple of things I want to mention just before we get into the video. If my eyelashes look a little bit odd, I've tried a new set today, which are the magnetic ones. And I thought originally they were just going to be the ones that you clip over the eyelash. So there's no like glue, no nothing involved, but actually it's like a magnetic eyeliner you put on first and then it sticks to that. Um, and I don't really wear eyeliner, so I'm not really good at putting it on. So to be honest, I'm not sure what it looks like, but there's kind of like splodgy black bits up over there. So if it looks weird, that's why, but I'm filming at my dad's and I don't have any makeup remover to <laughs> try and sort it. So I just had to go with it. But yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to mention. This is my little bubble hub that I decided to call it at my dad's house. He kind of let me use my old room. So that's why I'm here today. It's sometimes a nice area to film. Third thing just quickly is that if you hear any random banging, the window cleaner has just arrived. So has been like hitting a brush against the window. And fourth, final quick little thing is I wanted to briefly mention, um, I kind of uh, talked about this a little bit on Instagram. Basically, the past couple of weeks, I had just had a bit of an increase in anxiety, which had um, resulted in me being a wee bit more withdrawn. I went really quiet on Instagram and I'm a bit behind with any sort of me messages and comments. So I'm really sorry about that. I wanted to just quickly mention it just in case I just wanted to quickly mention it just to explain. So I am sorry about that. I'm feeling a bit better now. So I'm getting back in the swing of things and definitely creating content really helps me focus and uh, kind of forget about, you know, small anxieties and things like that. So that was the intro. I'm going to move straight into it and show you my part two Zara haul. So this is the first cohort. It is pink, houndstooth, tweed, and this one I did actually try on in store, which was quite handy just to check sizing. And then I ended up ordering when I got home because I think they didn't have quite the right size in store. The only thing is, so this is the shorts. <laughs> look how tiny that looks because it's like a skirt. So if you look at it as shorts, you're like, oh, it's okay. But if this was a skirt, then it would, it would just be so short. And I'm just a bit worried that it kind of looks that way because it does look like a skirt. But I did, I just love the look. And so this is the matching jacket. And yeah, you can see gorgeous buttons. Zara's buttons are always just next level. And I just thought this might be really cute. When we're still sort of in these colder ones, you could wear it with like white lacy tights, really going for a very Chanel look. And yeah, I just thought, I just thought this is a really cute suit. So I'll just try it on. This, the jacket is the size small and the skirt is the size medium. As I said, it is really short for me and I'm five foot seven. So I'll, I'll show you the length when it's on. So I'm back with this on now and the only thing, I do, I love it, but there's quite a big gap for me between the jacket and the skirt and I'm just not a huge fan of that because it's kind of like if it was higher waisted, I wouldn't mind it, but you're actually seeing like a little bit of tummy and I think what I would maybe do is try and get the size up in the jacket so there's a little bit more length. Apart from that, I absolutely love it. I think it's such a cute cord. Yeah, it's really up my street. Very kind of Chanel, that sort of old money country club aesthetic. Like, apart from the fact that there's like this gap and the fact it's super short, but I do, I do love it. And I think like white boots or white tights, like little white shoes, I think it would be so cute. Yeah, it's, it is a wee bit different from some of, some of their other suits just because of the style of it. I'm not sure, you'll need to let me know what you think because I do love it, I love the look, but having this kind of area exposed isn't really something I go for unless it's like up here, then it's like a little gap, do you know what I mean? But if you, yeah, if you were interested in this suit, this is how it's sitting on me. I do love it, I just think very, very cute. So I'm just gonna quickly move on, I think, to the next set, which is another pink cohort. I ordered them both because I just wanted to see, kind of compare them and see and see what I think. So this is the next set here. And again, it's really pink, really summery. This one definitely feels more of a spring summer look because it's the materials lighter. This one feels more like their sort of uh, classic tweed material. This one is more, it feels almost more like a linen-y linen tweed, which I don't even know if it's a thing, but it feels, it feels lighter. 
So again, it's a little skirt. Yeah, it's a skirt this time with some gold buttons, which are really cute. And then the jacket I wasn't 100% sure on because it is more of a, a relaxed fit, I suppose. And it kind of almost looks like, like, kind of like a denim jacket, I suppose. But it is quite lightweight, which is nice. And I love this gingham kind of pattern. This is so cute. Lovely for coming into blossom season, lots of pink pictures. So I'll try this one on. I'll just quickly check the sizing. So again, medium in the skirt, extra small in the blazer and I, or the jacket. And that is because when I saw this one in store, I thought it's quite boxy. I'm going to go for a smaller size, I think. Okay, look at number two. Here we are. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I feel like I preferred it when I saw it in the store. I'm not sure what it looks like on me. I think it's one of these ones I need to look properly at it in the mirror and kind of work out how I would wear it. I definitely love the style. I love the color. I love the look. I actually really, really love the skirt. I'm just, I'm not sure how much I would wear this versus the other one. I definitely love the style of the other one, but yeah, it's just, it's just that, that gap really. So which one do you prefer? Um, I like them both. I actually do like them both. This one really, I feel like you would need to wait till the weather's reasonably, not even, not necessarily warm, but milder because it does, it doesn't feel like there's much warmth in it, but that's obviously the spring summer look. Uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm just literally saying words now. Yeah, I honestly, I don't really know what I'm saying. Um, I like it. I'm just not like absolutely in love with it. So I'm going to just keep on going. I've got another tweed item, which is a nice little yellow dress, which I think is perfect for coming into Easter time. So I'll, yeah, pop that one on next. I just glanced in the mirror and I definitely think I prefer the first cord. I do like this one, but I think it's the style of the jacket that uh, it's just not 100% me. So I think I prefer the first one. This is the wee dress that I was talking about. So it's like a little yellowy tweed dress. I thought this would be really cute. Definitely one for a 60s look with white boots, which I feel like that's like all I'm wearing these days, but I'm just, I just love that era so much. So the only thing is, I think I would really wear a belt with this and I forgot to bring the belt that I was gonna put on. I actually think, and I said this, I think in my last video that I really like to have like a white belt and I just think like maybe white wearing this with white boots would be really cute. I'm gonna see if I've got any belts here that I could use just to give us an idea. But this is the wee dress. So again, really nice for springtime, Easter. Like how nice would that be for like Easter Sunday? Yeah, so this was the size medium. Okay, so I'm actually really liking this dress. I think, I know in the last video I was talking about that cardigan which was just maybe a little bit too strong of a yellow. I feel like this is slightly more the yellow that I would prefer to wear. I really like that it's kind of soft and I think the fact that it has kind of these darker threads woven through it, it overall, it's bringing the color down a little bit, it's making it a bit more muted. I know the fit probably isn't gonna look right because I definitely would pop on a belt with this just because of my shape, I think um, it needs it. So the only belt I have here is not, you know, the bonniest belt you've ever seen, but actually kind of goes with the 60s vibe. So just to give you an idea, I'm not saying 100% this is, how it would look or how I would wear it, but this is how I would definitely prefer, sort of cinch in the waist a little bit. I think just like a skinny little white belt would look really cute, whereas this is a little bit too blocked maybe, but I actually do like the 60s vibe with this because I think with white boots, you would definitely pull together quite, quite a retro look. So this is the wee dress. I'm quite happy with this one actually. And I do think, as I said, Coming into spring, this would be so nice for like a Sunday or something like that. Yeah, I, I really like it. So I'm gonna move into the next cord, which I'm really excited to try on. I really hope it's gonna fit. It is a blue one that I shared on my stories. It's, yeah, it's quite blare. It's quite glam, again, 60s style. Yeah, that's up next. So here is the little jacket and then we have the matching skirt. So, as I said, I haven't tried it on. I have no idea what this is going to fit like. I love how strong the blue is. And I know you might think, right, I'm contradicting myself, but in certain colors, I do love a bold color. This is quite bold, but it's a color I would definitely like to have more in my wardrobe because I don't think I have anything this color. So 
And I, do you know what? I can definitely say that I have, I have nothing like this. Whereas the pink tweeds, <laughs> let's just not talk about it because we all know, yeah. <laughs> I have way too many pink tweed things, but I just, yeah, I love them. So let's try this one on. I'll come back, show you what it looks like. This is the small and skirt and the medium. Sorry, did I just say that? I can't remember. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes, I am here for this. I am loving this neckline. I'm loving the collar, loving the buttons. This is another outfit for my non-existent non -existent meetings that I go to. I love it. I love, love, love it. I think it's just right up my street. Typical Zara though, the skirt is just a bit loose. And uh, sorry, sometimes their sizes just make no sense whatsoever. So I would maybe, this thing, I would, Bet my bottom dollar, the size small would be too small, but this medium is a little bit loose. Apart from that, I'm loving it. I think the whole look is just so, it's just so pristine, isn't it? It's just stunning. I'm trying to think how it's giving me vibes up. A little bit Blair, I think you could definitely make it more Blair. So give me your thoughts on this one. I know it's quite bold, it's out there, maybe not for everyone. But I do like it and it's so different. It really is so different. I just, it's definitely a bit of me. And one of these pieces, I definitely think that you could style it in certain ways and definitely wear it to, in a more professional capacity or dress it down. I just really like it. So I have one last little top that I'm gonna show you. I think I'll pop on with this skirt. I'm not sure how it's gonna look. So if it looks horrendous, I might just <laughs> scoop it. <laughs> it's like a little sleeveless vest top which I thought would be cute to wear with different skirts, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, so this is it here, and do you know what? It's, it's, it's giving me anxiety, <laughs> the sleeves. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna look on, but I have a number of skirts that go well with, with black tops, and the, I always end up wearing the black polo neck in winter, and I know this isn't exactly a wintry top, but I thought maybe as a slight transitional piece, if you still wanted to wear those darker colors, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, but let's let's just see. Okay, I like it, I like the style. I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit self-conscious of my arms, so I'm feeling, I am feeling a little bit self-conscious in this top. Sometimes tops that cut in a certain area on my arm is just so unflattering, I find. This I think is actually okay. I'm hoping I don't have any like dodgy fake tan marks, I probably do, but anyway. Anyway, I don't really know. I don't have a huge amount I want to say. I think it, I actually think it could be really cute with, with certain skirts. So I think I will consider it, but I'm just not 100% sure. I feel like it's something like Rachel and Friends would wear. Definitely getting her kind of vibe from this. If you are interested in this top, just to mention the chain is like kind of, I don't know, sewn in is the right word, but it's actually like, it's actually really cold on the other side because it's there. So the chain isn't a detailing on top of the top. It's actually kind of through the top. So just, just to point that out. I do like it, I actually really like the style, but it's one of those ones, if I don't feel comfortable in it, how much would I wear it? So this is me finishing the video now, that is the last item. As always, do let me know your thoughts. What was your favorite? I think standout for me was the almost electric blue suit. I just, I love the style of it. I'm a bit disappointed in the skirt because it's not a perfect fit, but I will, yeah, I'll have a wee think about that one. And I loved the first pink set. But again, not a perfect fit. So I just, I'll have a wee think, but do let me know your thoughts. What was your favorite? Once again, I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I have been a little bit withdrawn, more withdrawn from my Instagram and my YouTube the past like couple of weeks. Oh my God, my ring light is like bending over. <laughs> it's broken again. Anyway, yeah. So do let me know if there's any videos you would like to see coming into spring and into summer. What videos you'd like to see on this channel. Thank you so much for watching as always it means so much to me and I always just love creating new videos. So anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you all next Thursday at 7 o'clock. Bye!